Good morning, everyone. I think we're due for another thrift with me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a part-time reseller based in Calgary, Alberta. My full-time job is as a flight attendant and today's video is a layover thrift with me. I'm in Nanaimo. I actually haven't had a layover here in a long time, I feel like. At least not a layover where I had the time to go to the thrift store. So that's what I'm doing today. Let's kind of dive into that <laughs> because I am like very proud of myself. I finally have my death pile like mostly under control. Um, I have most of it photographed and most of what's photographed is listed. And then I have like a few things at home. I mean, I'm not going to say it's like 10 things, but I mean, it's a manageable amount for me. It's not an overwhelming amount. <laughs> I'm also, maybe if you watch my other videos, um, you know that I'm kind of transitioning to a different business model right now, moving away from volume selling and more towards higher sales, less items. So I'm trying to source better items, paying up for them a little bit if I have to, but items that will sell for more money. So that's kind of what my deal is right now. Like I said, I'm in Nanaimo. Um, I'm here again tonight. So I'm actually gonna try to go today and tomorrow morning just because it's a good walk. It's like 30 minutes uphill to get there. So I just feel like I need to get my heart pumping and having Value Village as the reward at the end of my walk is just like icing on the cake. So, I think they open at 10, it's 9.32. I kinda wanted to get there for open cause it's the weekend, I don't know. But I have to show you guys the view from my room because every time I'm here, I show you guys and I'm just like obsessed. I don't think I'm gonna be up at Valley Village all day. My pickup is at 2.30 and I think I'm gonna leave at like one so I have a little bit of time at least to like enjoy um, my room. <laughs> but also to like walk around here because I like to kind of get a coffee and go sit by the marina and um, yeah, maybe read a little bit. It looks gross out, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It looks really gross. It either is raining or was raining. That reminds me, one of the reasons I wanna go thrifting today too. So I am thrifting for Poshmark, but I'm also gonna be thrifting for me. Um, I am dating someone who lives in Vancouver. So I'm spending a lot of time in Vancouver as a result. Well, a decent amount, a decent amount of time in Vancouver. And I'm realizing that I, my wardrobe is not built for Vancouver. I don't have like the right um, clothes. <laughs> so that is kind of something I want to do too is like thrift with me for a Vancouver wardrobe. Um, I need more like thinner layering pieces. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Other than that, those are my focuses. Uh, my dad wanted me to look for a jacket for him because he lost this like really nice jacket that he had bought, which is a bummer. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what I find. I don't have a ton of room in my suitcase as usual, <laughs> but whatever. We'll make it work and I'm excited to see what I find. I usually have pretty good luck here in Nanaimo. So last time I thrifted here, I found those Manolo shoes. They took a while to sell, but I did sell them for like a lot of money. So I'll show you guys the view. Oh, there's a float plane. Okay, I feel like my view is better from the other rooms. Honestly, I'm in a different room than we usually stay in but I had a robe and slippers here when I got here last night on my bed, which was really nice. It's just like such a nice little touch. I love, I love a good robe. Um, and I try not to show like too much of a view because I don't like to like tell everyone where we stay on our layovers. 
that freaks me out. Oh, there's a really cool boat down there. A few very nice boats. Anyway, okay, I better get my ass in gear and get going. There is a Starbucks up by the Valley Village, so I think what I'm gonna do is have a couple more sips of my coffee here, walk up there, order my Starbucks on the way up there, like when I know I'm like five minutes away, pick up the Starbucks and then run into Valley Village and we'll see what I find. I'm excited. I'll, I'll bring you guys along with me, obviously. I'll show you guys what I pick up, what I don't pick up, and I'll see you guys there. Bye. So here I am giving you a fit check. Obviously, as usual, walking out of the hotel. I actually, I don't know. I was excited about this walk, even though it is such a long walk. It is pretty far to get to the Valley Village, but anyway, okay, here I am walking down the sidewalk and showing you how far I have to walk. Made it all the way up the hill, taking a left turn, more uphill, but I got my Starbucks and here's Valley Village. I mean, how exciting. Here's showing you, they had a freaking guest purse in the showcase. Are you, like, I know that's a joke. I love looking at the shoes. Love, love, love looking at the shoes. Those were Zara. I used to have these exact sandals. Embarrassing. Um, these Reeboks were in horrible condition. Otherwise, I would have grabbed for me, maybe. Saludos. Decisions were made. I just can't justify buying them anymore because they just don't sell. They don't. Um, taking a peek into the jeans. They have some decent ones, honestly, but they take so much room in my suitcase that it makes it hard to source jeans on layovers and get them home. So I like to take a peek and just see what's going on. Everlane, and honestly not that expensive, but skinny jeans. And Everlane takes a while to sell for me, honestly. Um, I know it's like a bolo or whatever. I just like this style. Um, what else am I finding in the jeans? There were so many. I went back after and found that there were so many that were like even pushed in on the rack. Brand new jeans. What else have we got here? Those black ones are cute. Some Levi's, but yeah, nothing really interested me, honestly, in the jeans section. I think I grabbed one pair, but I didn't even end up bringing them home. So, looking at the pants, I'm always looking for Aritzia office pants like trousers I guess um, I felt some pretty cool stuff in here but I don't think I ended up buying any I will be doing a haul in a separate video I thought I could fit it all in this video but I don't think I will honestly um, yeah nothing like a shrunken Wilfred sweater rag and bone mm, if this was like three years ago I would have maybe grabbed those free people I don't know, not even that expensive, but ugly. <laughs> um, these are Lululemon trousers. They are a size 12. And we love that size dot because I know how to find it. I just thought that was a cute little Valentine's Day thing. NYX, meh, don't really buy it anymore. These Lulu shorts were upside down. Nope, inside out. But zero tall, I don't know. I put them in my cart, but after I was like, that's kind of like a different size, so I just left them. Thread and supply, so cozy, but that would have taken up my entire suitcase, and um, I was already running a little bit short on space, so yeah, decisions were made. That is for sure. There is always some fake Gucci at the thrift store. Miss Eileen, I hadn't seen her in so long and it was such a cute item but would have been hard for me to bring back. That's the whole item. I don't know, I just wanted to show you. Um, these are the sweaters. Again, like a thrifting on a layover is poses its issues because, you know, I've only got a suitcase with me. So um, anything that's too bulky will just kind of be more annoying than anything. So here I am, just looking, looking, looking through everything. 
Le Chateau for $30. They are out to lunch on that one. I found a few things. <laughs> My cart is full. Brunette the label, I can't get it anymore. I just, it sits and sits and sits and sits for me. So I pretty much always leave it, honestly. What am I looking at here? The blouses, maybe? I don't know, the sweaters? Long sleeve knits. That's probably what I'm looking at. Just, yeah. I don't know. Looking for a unicorn, I guess. That um, gray old navy sweater I just went by is like one of the first things I ever sold on Poshmark. I went home and grabbed everything I didn't wear and I had like three of those and yeah, they actually sold pretty quick. Splendid Gap. That's actually pretty cute. Okay, new angle. Yep. That wire right in the middle of my face is great, but this is what I look like when I'm thrifting. Um, basically, I guess my boyfriend's roommate Kat just had to like add in that comment. I hope you guys heard him. Um, but anyway, he is also not a fan of this angle. So yeah, Reggie, you are right about that. Okay, here is my cart so far. Those red pants, there's a story with those later. I'm pretty sure I had these shoes or my sister had them. What the hell are these boots? Like, um, I don't know. Giorgio Armani, here's my Trader Joe's bag, ready to walk back to the hotel. Here I go, off I go. Oh my God, do you see the deer? They're so cute. I'm just like in the wild. Walking down, walking down. I actually really like the Nymo, it's cute. I had to go to Thrifties and get some food because I was hungry. Okay, you guys, it is day two of layover thrifting, maybe? No, of layover thrifting. I was just checking to see what was on my counter. Um, those are my snacks. Anyway, okay, I'm in Nanaimo again. And I told you yesterday I was planning on going back to Value Village today. And then yesterday I was like, maybe not. The weather's supposed to be really crappy. Don't really want to walk like that whole time outside in the rain um but i kind of want to go back so i think i might take the bus which i've never done here um public transportation gives me major anxiety but i think i'm gonna be okay i think it's just one bus to get there so i think that is like helping me a lot um it's a six minute walk to the bus stop Are we when I thought of this today, I was like, oh, I'll just walk up there and then take the bus down. And I could, but maybe I will. It doesn't look like it's raining yet. And like, I don't need to like haul ass up there. I can just take my time. Um, now that I think about it, it's not that big of a deal if I'm not there right at open. Um, I think I will definitely take the bus down though. And hopefully I'm not there as long today because I was there yesterday, so I should know, like, everything that's there. Um, although they were, like, really putting out a lot of stuff yesterday. <sighs> Did I? I didn't even do, like, a little debrief yesterday when I got back to the hotel because I had no time. I got back here and it was, like, time to go. Um... But I did find like some really good pieces that I'm really excited about. I didn't show you guys me sorting my cart because it was just like very awkward um, to like position my phone and like show myself at the same time and like showing you what I had in my cart. But I got down to like just a few items. Nothing, f not everything fit in my suitcase. So I did have to drop a bag off um, yesterday in like at work but i will grab it tomorrow i'm not leaving there for a long time and if i get anything today then i'll have to do the same because <laughs> whoops but whatever it's for a good cause i believe <laughs> um what else there was i don't know i think i like showed you guys a little bit in the clips so there was a really cool top that I found on the new rack or return rack when I first got to the store and I like looked at it and I was like oh this is really cool um but then I was like just getting there so and like my value village you are not allowed to take anything off the new rack you will get like looked at by the employees they don't want you to I'm pretty sure they've told me even before like do not take anything from the new rack you have to let us put it away so I didn't touch it. 
and then I was like looking through the rest of the stuff and I found matching pants they're like like a washed red like linen material so pretty so then I ran around the store I probably wasted like an hour yesterday just looking for that stupid top again never found it so I put the pants back I was gonna hide them but I put them back where they were supposed to be because we need good thrift karma um but yeah anyway I'll go back today I have to return a dress because it has a stain on it or like exchange it um but yeah that's all I really got going on today I don't need to go to the grocery store I don't need anything um yeah so let's oh I think it just started raining because there's water on my window hmm hard to say if it's just spitting that's okay because I have a raincoat kind of I don't know if I can show you guys kind of where I have to walk to get to this valley village so that you can see how far and long of a walk it is okay so you see hold on this road here I go all the way up that hill and you see that that's where I turn left and then I go all the way over here somewhere in there is value village probably further that way but yeah so it's a long it's a hard walk up that hill it's a steep hill <laughs> so um look at that sky should I really go out for a walk right now <laughs> is the thrift worth it <laughs> I guess I decided that it is worth it. So here I am making my trek back up to Value Village. I was checking the hair. Things are good, it's not raining. That is so cute, the Nanaimo shoe repair store. Um, free people, I found pleasers, which like I almost got. I freaking found that top again and was like, hold on, where are the pants? There they are, changed my life. I was so excited. There's some Lululemon. I left because there was a hole in the knee, which why even put that on the floor? No one's gonna buy that. But let's see what else I can find in the sweatpants. Just looking for, I don't know, probably Lululemon, whatever. I think this is a men's section. So maybe I was looking for some sweatpants for my boyfriend. Who even knows? A Stetson hat. I've never seen a Stetson hat before in my life. I found this other like church thrift store and wanted to go in just because I had the time and I just like was curious as to what they would even have in there so I got to the door and it says cash only I'm like well I don't have any cash but let's just see what they have in here honestly there wasn't much that was interesting it was pretty packed but just like nothing really worth reselling which is fine and then i went back to the hotel and had to get ready for work so yeah okay as you can tell i am back in the hotel i'm actually like the sun is so bright it was supposed to pour pour all afternoon and it hasn't rained it was like very humid and like almost raining all day but now it's like really sunny it's really nice out um i can barely like look at the camera um but yeah okay i'm back at the hotel i went to value village i found a few things i ended up finding the freaking matching set i'm so happy actually that reminds me i have to try it on um what else i returned that dress i exchanged a dress because it had a stain on it and i got a few other things i was going to put the haul at the end of this video but this video is already like not super long but it is getting there so I'll do a haul in a separate video I think so make sure you keep an eye out for that on my channel um but yeah after I went to Valley Village I was walking back and there was a little thrift store that you saw that was cash only so I didn't get anything, but I found actually a matching dress to that matching set. So I'll put a picture up here of that dress. This is so weird. Um, but yeah, I went to Thrifty. I went to Dollarama. There were a few things I wanted to grab, but they didn't have pretty much anything that I was looking for, which is kind of annoying. Um, 
and yeah I talked to my boyfriend on the way to Value Village because he has to pull sales for me for the first time ever <laughs> he I sold some stuff while I was at work and I was supposed to go home tonight but there was a change of plans I'm not going home so he's going to go and like find the items that I sold and bring them to me so that I can ship them I also asked him to bring me poly mailers and then I'll print the labels at some point somewhere I was gonna do it today but I'm kind of running out of time um you know what maybe I'll just do it later when he comes to pick me up I'll just like do it very quickly but anyway what else I talked to my dad on the way back because we're going to visit him tomorrow so I just like wanted to see how things were he's got like it's so cute he's got like a little plan for us an itinerary for us but yeah I'm feeling good about what I thrifted yesterday and today I honestly feel like I got a good amount of stuff like I didn't get too much and I left a lot there that first of all was either too bulky for me to bring back or just too expensive and yeah I'm feeling really good about that I'm actually quite proud of myself <laughs> because it could have been way worse uh, but yeah that's all I've got I'll flip the camera around so that you can see what a beautiful day this turned out to be oh my gosh it's so bright it's so bright and then I'll show you the ocean So yeah, that's all I've got for you in this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like these thrift with, thrift, thrift with me's. And oh, there's a Poshmark ad on the TV right now. Interesting. Anyway, um, but yeah, I will let you go and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.